Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my flower class Corvette build uh, part 10 and what I'm going to do is just quickly review um, a couple of items that I received in the post about 40 minutes ago. So um, I hope everybody's well. It's uh, the 27th of October 2020. It's an absolute miserable day outside here in the UK, or at least in my part of the UK anyway. Uh, but a little ray of sunshine dropped into my lap um, when I received these two little sets that I ordered a couple of days ago actually. Um, when did I order them? Actually, I ordered them yesterday morning. So yeah, really quick delivery. Um, so these are two photo etch parts for my uh, HMS Bluebell build that I'm doing and they're from um, David De David J Parkins um, and he does a line called Great Little Ships uh, 172nd scale uh, conversion kits or upgrade kits for um, a lot of different 172nd scale uh, Royal Navy type uh, ships now, the two sets I've ordered, as you can see, are the Life Boys and the 20mm Oilican uh, AA gun set. Um, so, if we have a quick look at the Life Boy set first, and what I want to say, actually, what I want to say first before we go any further was um, how well packaged these items came. So, I got them this morning, um, literally about 40 minutes ago. Um, and they came in a nice wrapped, nicely wrapped up um, padded envelope and he had included within that a piece of hardboard um, to prevent any bending of the product so um, as you can see we get quite a large photo etch sheet here for the 20mm uh, cannons um, and I think that's a nice touch that this was included. It was well packaged and well protected, um, which is absolutely great. Um, so going into the Life Boy set, I, do, I got these because I just wanted um, on the Revel kit, what happens is you just glue the plastic life preservers um, to the side of the engineering housing um, and I didn't really want that I wanted something which was a little bit more detailed so you get four white metal castings of life boys that look like that um, there's minimal uh, cleanup required on these um, they're, they're really nicely done um, you then get a photo etch sheet which are the um, wall mounting brackets and then the um, life boy brackets um, and you use three pairs on each of these wall mounting brackets and then that goes onto the side of um, whatever particular part of the superstructure you're gluing that onto um, they're nicely done um, and it's uh, printed on there, 170 second scale life boy set. Now this is a generic set that you could use on a lot of different um, 170 second scale Royal Navy type models. Um, so it's it's not specific, specific to the um, flower class Corvette build, but it can be used as such. And then you just get a small sheet of destructions included so that's the life boy set um, the set I've looked forward to receiving actually is the 20 millimeter gun set so we'll take out all the bits Let's put that there so if we first look at the um, first little poly bag uh, we have a number of ammunition drums um, for the 20 millimeters uh, rounds and again these are nicely cast again there's minimal cleanup going to be required on these there's a little bit of filing um, but other than that um, the 
clean up themselves, I, I feel, is, is, is absolutely minimal. They've been really well done. Uh, moving on, we have the barrels themselves. And again, care has been taken to put these onto a little piece of card so that they don't get damaged, um, which I think is brilliant. Um, it's really great that uh, Great Little Ships, uh, David Parkins, does this and um, really takes care of the products that he makes. Um, we then have two um, of the uh, gun bandstands. Um, and these are basically the shell catchers for the 20 millimeter. Um, so we also have these little um, stands that the cannons will actually go onto, um, and they go on like that. Um, and the idea was that um, in operational use, uh, the ejected spent uh, casings would collect in here and they, they wouldn't be all over the place on a rolling ship um, and would be easier to clean up and keep hold of. So that's the castings. Um, all the castings now, as we, we'll take a look at the photo action. The first thing I'll take a look at are these two large circular items here. Um, these are the tread plate patterns which go onto the castings. So they will literally go onto the castings like that. Um, and I mean, even just looking at this, they're an exceptional fit, uh, looking at the way that that just goes on over the top there. Um, so that's, that's those two bits. And as we move round, um, so the next part is, these are all parts for the 20 millimeter uh, guns themselves. So we have parts for the splinter shields. Uh, we have parts for the um, sighting uh, reticules, apertures. Um, we have the stabilizing, um, shoulder stabilizing mounts here as well. And then these bits here are for uh, breech block work and receivers uh, on the guns themselves. Um, and then the other part of the photo etch frame, um, all of these parts that you can see, these are all for um, ready use ammunition lockers, basically, that go onto the, uh, or can be placed onto the deck. And again, we just have in this little corner here, uh, what the product is. So that's those. So we then get a set of uh, instructions. 20 millimeter AA gun. And it just basically gives you a rundown of what you will need to do. And then there's an exploded view um, of the way that this goes together. Um, so this is uh, the gun itself and the ammunition lockers, okay? Um, with this, you, you do need to study it, okay? And you will need to look at it and see what goes where. Um, a lot of this for me is going to be new. I have used photo etch parts before, but they've more or less been small amounts of photo etch that have been included with a plastic kit. So this is new for me. So it's going to be interesting to see how well I can put this together. Um, I'm hoping I'm not going to need to buy another set because I cocked this one up. So that's the set. Um, so on the bridge mount, itself um, you can see that I'm going to need to just trim down uh, a little bit um, part of the um, uh, shell catcher uh, as it goes into the bridge and this having seen other models um, produced by other modelers um, 
that seems to be completely fine. Um, placing them directly there uh, wouldn't really give a lot of space left. Um, so as I say, I'm going to put them onto the um, deck. I'm going to trim them down slightly. Um, which, as I say, has been the case on some other models that I have researched and looked at. But all being well, once they're done, they'll take their pride of place um, on the deck space uh, for the bridge. Um, and that's basically that particular piece of kit. Um, it's really well done. It's a lovely piece of kit. It's exceptionally well detailed. Um, I would totally and wholeheartedly recommend if you're doing a upgrade to your Snowberry build to certainly get uh, some of these items or if you want to do a complete, they do a complete kit which I think is about 300 odd pounds. These items um, for the Life Boy set, it was two pounds twenty three pence, and the AA guns were fourteen pounds and twelve pence. Um, I paid. I upgraded to Royal Mail uh, signed for first class, and as I say, I literally ordered these yesterday, and I've got them this morning. So uh, again, the service has been absolutely brilliant. So hopefully. What I will try and do is once I've built one, I will try and do a video showing how the other one goes together um, and what I did for fitting it, etc. Uh, and hopefully you'll join me for that. All right, take care. Bye bye.